How are you doing? Not bad, you? Yeah, I'm doing very well, thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, hello no to everyone listening. Welcome to Long Drives, Late Nights and Lobby Calls. This is a podcast uh, mainly to do with the realities of the live music industry and basically you're going to try and bring you some real stories from the people on stages to everyone else that's behind the scenes. But it's COVID, everything's a bit poo, so we're going to try and provide a little bit of respite. We're bringing you some hilarious stories from the road. Tales from the road. I haven't, I haven't thought of like a funny, quirky segment for this to be called, apart from it being like tales from the road or tales. That's what it is, though. You know. Yeah, I guess so. Fuck People it. know what they're getting. Sorry. <clears throat> People know what they're getting. Oh right. Um, I hope they do. <laughs> so stories from the long road on tour. On the long road, <laughs> long road. Um, I'm joined with Miles Sergeant. Miles, say hello. Hello. No, um, Miles is a uh, <laughs> Miles is a drummer. Uh, up, 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 aside from a very close friend of mine, Miles is a drummer and he's a backliner musical director as well. So, um, me and Mini Miles, which is what my nickname to him is, that's not an innuendo at all. Everyone just calls him <laughs> Mini Miles because we have another friend called Miles and he's a lot taller than actually. Nah, nah. Is. is he taller? He's a, little bit not, he's a little bit taller. I'm, I'm younger and a bit okay. short. Okay, that's why Miles is mini Miles. But mini Miles is not really that mini. He's like six foot. Um, uh, me, and, me and Miles work together on a project with Justin Gesso. Uh, Miles works on Backline and MD stuff. So MD is an uh, abbreviation for musical director. So he works on all the playback and everything to kind of make the show run smoothly. Um, a lot of people might not realize or maybe they do realize there's a lot of uh kind of bigger padding involved with a live show and miles is the one who looks after that with a playback system so he basically triggers the show so me and miles have got some hilarious stories of where it's kind of gone wrong <laughs> and um, yeah. just kind of reminiscing hopefully bringing you a little bit of joy but before we get into it miles how are you doing at the moment how are you, what are you doing during lockdown what am i doing during lockdown mm. well I'm just playing loads of games. Yeah, I love that. Wake up, wait, wake up, boot up the the PC. I'm a, I'm a PC gamer, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Which some people will probably frown upon, but yeah, I don't great. get that. I don't get that beef against consoles, and I no, guess because like it's the same. Like just be a nerd. Just nerd out. Yeah, you're, you like. you're 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 a PC nerd. Like no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a PC and I enjoy it. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's what all my friends have, so you know. Yeah, and it's easier to then yeah play with everyone else, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. so um, I'm just trying to trying to practice drums on the daily, but you know. Yeah, how is that in the flat? <laughs> uh, well, I had to buy an electric kit at the, in April. Oh, okay, that's probably a really good investment. Yeah, because I can. I think the latest I've played is maybe ten o'clock. Okay. I've never had any complaints from like the pad noise. Mm. So I think we're good. I prepped Miles asking him to think of some times that we've had some hilarious um, stories from the Justin Gesso tours that we've done so far. Don't worry, there's going to be many more in the future. But there's been a few times that stuff's gone wrong and we've had some horror stories and I don't really know about them. Um, I thought it'd be really funny to relive and re reminisce some of those because I've forgotten <laughs> yeah. about loads of them. Um, not because of, not because of like it went so bad, but more just because I just forget and it just, you just move on so quickly. But yeah, when I say think of a horror story, when it comes to doing a Justin Jesso gig or just a, a time where something's gone a bit pear shaped, what, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Should, I think, I think we should start at the beginning. <laughs> Let's start like, at the beginning. Um, so we did a we did a small showcase in Finland for for the label. Yeah, and it was like oh, it can't have been more than five songs. Yeah, um, I, th I think it was like a bunch a bunch of Sony artists were mm. just doing a small little showcase for for um, the people that worked at the label. Yeah, it wasn't was a lot though. Show. It was like it wasn't like it was like twenty minutes, if that. I think. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think. 
and this was the this was the first time we brought the playback rack to a show. Okay. And I remember I, I, I built the system at home a couple of weeks before. Mm-hmm. But I didn't have the session, so the Ableton session, um, to have a good look through and kind of map out my outputs for the the playback. So that's like okay. so like my outputs would be uh, different things split up like um uh backing vocals or guitar parts like so i split them because then lewis can uh, mix them in the front of house yeah so um yeah i had the had to play i had the rack built and i was just running my like ableton sessions through it to make sure everything was working mm. um but i didn't get the actual justin jesso playback session until the night before the show Right. So just like pause in you the for hotel. a second there. Um, yeah. The play to to kind of to I'm trying to think of this a quick way I can explain. Um Justin's a lot of pe- a lot of people that use playback now. Everyone's using playback mm-hmm. in their shows. Um and it basically just it basically just adds a fat dynamic to the live show. But more importantly, a lot of people are using in ear systems, so they're not just having the monitors chucking the music back at them. They're all on headphones and there's click so they can keep in time to all the playback. <clears throat> Miles' so Miles' sole purpose to be on that gig is to make sure the playback does not go wrong. So he ha- he has two laptops. So if one goes down, the other one automatically takes over. They're all split so that when me I'm mixing the the live sound, I can have them all individually, and to not have the session the time you know to not have the session in good time, you can't have that time to be able to figure it out. Mm. And I think, um. I think that hopefully that's explained playback. It's a system that yeah. just creates signal and you're basically, it's almost like you're playing back an MP3, but then there's lots of, it's all it's, separated. Yeah. It's like, um, say your song has a, a shaker part in it. You know, yeah. why, why would we pay someone just to play the shaker when we can have it on a computer? Absolutely. That's like yeah. we had guitar parts like and subby yeah. parts and stuff like that. And it's just just in on stage. Hang mm-hmm. on. So, so you didn't have time to sort out that session. I definitely knew about this as well. And I remember thinking it's going yeah. to be a classic, Justin. You're going to get it the day before. So you, when did you get it? I got it that the night the night before. Like I think I've got I think I've got videos of me like in this because the hotel rooms are really small and I just kind of spread everything out. And I was <laughs> up at like I remember at ten o'clock like really like getting into it. And then I think I went way into like the next morning. Oh mate, just like figuring out all the outputs because there was no way for me to test to, to actually listen to the outputs on yeah, that. We had to basically put it through a system. Yeah. Um, which is what we did the following day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I remember plugging it in like, great. Like I had, I had like all my outputs written down. I was like, this, this should be okay. Are we at sound check now? We're at sound check. Yeah. How long, like, do, how long do you remember having for sound check? <laughs> oh, it was less than 10 minutes. We didn't, like, we didn't have a lot of time. They, no, it, it was a classic gig, you know, mm-hmm. a, a, a normal gig schedule would be, you, you, you know, you load in, you wait for your sound check, you get as ready as possible for sound check. There's carnage as you set up for sound check. You do a sound check, you go over your sound check time, then you wait for your show. Um, and there's a changeover beforehand. And, you know, time is very scarce. And we've turned up and it's a very, very small showcase gig. So there's no live performance involved is just these people coming up playing their songs to try and sell them to the label pardon me and we've we've got like 10 20 minutes and miles is like trying to test out the playback rack yeah it's like never never tested before never able to never, never done this gig before either <laughs> yeah yeah this yeah the first first actual show with like guitars the system yeah. and it's not and it's not just like a crowd who love justin it's the label so it's, it's essentially the our bosses yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> and yeah i'm trying to think kind of like the way how it went down i mean we had a lot of problems with like the um the kick channel on the playback system i remember i remember and as well this isn't to shit on you but I brought you in because I knew you fucking would know how mm. to handle this stuff because you're really good at Ableton, which is the program that allows you to control this playback system. I knew Miles is really fucking good with all this stuff. I knew he would be the best, but I knew that you're very inexperienced, but I didn't 
I knew that wasn't going to hold you back because I know that you know your shit. <clears throat> you would get nervous. You would get nervous, but so do I. And we, we're, we're fine. Miles has drummed on loads of gigs. He's all, you know, he's going to be fine. And I remember I was like, right, Miles, do you want to hit that, uh, hit that playback? And I remember just hearing it and just thinking, oh my God. <laughs> Oh fuck! Because it, it sounded, sounds, it sounded really it sounded bad. Sounded awful, yeah. <laughs> like not just like a it little was, bit. It was like really thin. It sounded like a wet paper bag was getting like <laughs> chucked around in a fucking storm or something. It was like proper like, th- th- and it, I was like, oh god. <laughs> and then you just fixed it. So what happened? Because obviously I've gone miles, mate. What the fuck is going on? And you're going, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I remember like I'm trying I'm trying to remember like what I did, but I think because basically we the playback system for Justin has in Ableton maybe like fifty channels, uh-huh. I think of of stuff. Because basically we're, we're basically playing from the stems, which is like the broken up, split out sections of the song. Mm. Well, when I mean sections, I mean like instruments. So individual kick drums, hi hat. It's not all blended together. So I remember just scouring across, like looking at all the outputs, just trying to work it out. I think I just switched a few and, and, it, just and it was that. And it just yeah. worked. That was also the gig where um, Justin was like, you know what, fuck it, yeah, I want to put a grand piano. No, not a grand piano. Yeah. Oh, upright, a, yeah. a, upright a piano, just bang it over there. Like we just, he just saw it in the background. He was just like... It was like, I'll have I, it, yeah. Also, we're like way over sound check time. We're all being very nice. Mm-hmm. I've only known Justin for a couple of months, but we're already mm-hmm. like a tight team. I brought yeah. Miles in, you know, but he's just like, oh yeah, see that piano over there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just, let's just bring it over. Let's just bring it over mm-hmm. and do that. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Well, we, you know, we have got a bit of time. You know, we haven't really got anything like that. And he's just like, yeah, fuck it. And then all of a sudden all the label are like, oh my God, we love this enthusiasm. But I'm like, you were having a go at me like two minutes ago. So it's yeah. funny. The label then have a go at me about timing. But then as soon as Justin wants to do something good, oh, yeah. and I'm like, okay, maybe we can do it. And I'm, because as like, as like my job is never ever just to turn around and say, no, we can't do that. It's always to be like, oh, okay, let's try and do that. Let's see. Yeah. That, yeah. You never ever want to just say no. So, which is a long lesson that I learned very quickly, but you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm still bad at it. And then all of a sudden, yeah, we do the show. I think mm-hmm. we do the show and I think everything was fine. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember anything that, I can't remember anything <laughs> going wrong. Apart from obviously this is the first time that you're trying to make sure Justin's good to go on stage before. Mm-hmm. I remember, um, cause you know, we use that loop mic. Yeah. I remember we had loads of issues with this loop mic. It didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember. It, I remember. Yeah. Because so it's yeah, the loop. So there's, there's a section in one of Justin's songs called Let It Be Me. And um, uh, there's like after a chorus, there's kind of like a bridge section where he'll layer up vocals on an Ableton looper. Mm. And uh, it's automated to record playback and it, it's supposed to do it all itself. And I think, I honestly think there was a bug in that version of Ableton. Right, okay. Because it just wouldn't, it wouldn't latch on, would it? It wouldn't it latch wouldn't, It wouldn't do it. it. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I remember setting the automation and it just, it just wouldn't read it sometimes. And what's funny is, Miles uh, has stood to the side of stage mm-hmm. and um, when the loop version, sorry, not the loop version, but the loop section starts to, to go, and Justin's doing the oh, and then it should go mm. oh, oh, and then he's looping and looping and looping, but yeah. it's not doing it. So he just starts like mm-hmm. um, kind of freestyling and just doing some like oh, yeah. But yeah. then what he's doing is he just looks at Miles, <laughs> he yeah, just yeah, looks at you. Well, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, because I remember we were <laughs> like, we were trying to because <laughs> we me and Justin were trying to figure this out like after this show, yeah, to 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 make sure like it doesn't happen, and I remember. I remember there was an Ableton update and then when it worked on the next show, he just, he just turned and smiled and was like, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> well so, done. You're not sacked. Yeah. You're not sacked. You, you've still got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. What was the next show after Helsinki? Um, the ne- with, with playback and the looper, it was, it must've been the band show in a rehearsal. Oh, okay. Yeah. I kind of want to fast forward a little bit and go a little bit off piece because I feel like we've just spoken about how shit we were and how we kind of yeah. got away with it. And Justin just had, like, I feel like Justin's going to listen to this and be like, I need to reevaluate who I have in my team. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I want to jump forward to um, a show we did. So Justin had a headline tour 
and in the middle of it we had to do um a, like a, pre- a promo show and the promo shows are very different to your kind of bog standard touring shows because you turn up you play one or two songs sometimes it's just one song and you're off and you know that's it type of thing and it's all to do with promotion for the song and the artist uh, alongside like a brand or a event or something yeah or a charity um in this case it was a thing called blow um oh, glow I was it. Oh, I thought it was blow. That's why I was thought. No, not blow. Oh, it's glow. That's why I thought. Oh, that's why I thought it was really bad. I was like, why are they calling it blow? Which is a word for cocaine for yeah, a makeup convention. YouTube. Basically, like a beauty YouTuber event, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like um, all to do with like influencers and brands and, but more in like the kind of makeup. Yeah. Styling. Beauty. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And. <laughs> we've 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 like it's the first time as well that miles isn't going to be side of stage me and him are at the front of house i'm not mixing i'm having to ask someone how to mix or maybe i was mixing i can't remember i was mixing i do remember now um, well it was it was like a like four channels yeah 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 i remember yeah, it was a nothing. desk as well that i'm not really good with as well um mm-hmm. And the guys that were there were really lovely but basically when you're walking around people just think you're part of the conference so the first thing that happens to me is we walk through the back, this back door entrance to kind of go on the stage and there was a, a stage manager or some sort of stage hand or something. And they were insanely aggressive and I can't remember what they said, but really? yeah, I'm pretty sure you cussed them out or Yvonne cussed them out or something. Right. Um, Yvonne's our label rep, by the way, who's just like a badass woman. And you just don't want to fuck oh, yeah. with her whatsoever. No. Um, but one of them's cussed either Justin or me or you. No, no one would have cussed Justin down because they obviously knew no. who he was. They've either done it me or you or something. And it was something to do with like the timings. They were just really faffing around. Um, but as we've walked through this back door, we kind of met with the like stage people and they're being a bit like yeah whatever they don't really care about us fair enough whatever i don't care but then all these people are like handing us condoms like oh, hey yeah. i have free condoms and we're just like mm-hmm. yeah we're at work sorry and they're like that's cool yeah. you can have sex at work and i'm like looking at miles and i look at me and they're like no <laughs> nah <laughs> no no i'm okay thank <laughs> you um and then to get to the show we've you know we've just watched like there's no kind of sound check or anything it's just like set up tap a few things that all sounding good okay cool go um um we call that in the business a line check and go um it was <laughs> essentially it. something like that where basically it was all being live streamed and whatnot and basically in an ad break they wanted us to go on and just try and get it over and done well there's people running around this conference and there's a lot of people in the way and we've watched some youtuber who's like way too young like way too young to be having this kind of like <clears throat> um the attention that she was receiving was like I don't know. It seemed like it seemed like the parents were pushing her, and it didn't really seem like she wanted to be there and do it and do yeah, it basically. Yeah. And they're forcing this girl to this poor girl to sing, and she's not even singing; she's miming to a track anyway. And then oh, yeah. her boyfriend then jumps on stage and like d- like snogs her like after the song, and it's a, it was some sort of like um youtube not beef but some youtube kind of like love drama thing to be like mm. oh my god she sung this song and then he comes on and like kisses her. And me and Miles the whole time are just like. We just need to get this fucking sound check done and we need to get the show done yeah, and go. Like we are not part of this fucking no. thing. And there was loads of random other stuff going on. We were in the middle of a conference where like people are screaming and shit. It was so bad. Anyway, mm. we were using a digital piano and the digital yes. piano was out of tune. What the fuck was yeah. going on there? How does that happen? It was so weird because like there was there was no way to like test normally with these things like you can have a little play before yeah like a sound check or something just to make sure but there was no you couldn't do that this was such a quick turnaround thing literally there was like nothing we could have done yeah so i've so in my in my head like set the piano up cool like we do a little line check you know lewis is like we can we've got it through and then in the little sound check we have yeah it's so out of tune with the track which is funny because we wouldn't have noticed otherwise no, because when, when you're just playing it, you know, for a little it's, sound check, me just it sounds a little bit. Keys. It sounds a bit sharp, but that was it, right? Yeah, like you couldn't really notice it without like something to reference against it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we we one of the songs, and we're like, this sounds this sounds crap. It, it's the it's it's um one of <laughs> one of Justin's songs called "Getting Closer." Is that right? Or is it closer? 
Yeah, getting closer. Yeah, but basically, <laughs> there's no like, you know, there's no like, oh, we're behind closed curtains. There's like loads of people being like, Justin, hey, and Justin's like, this is just a sound check. Please come back for the real show <laughs> because it's going so badly. <laughs> like, go, come back. Yeah, and um, we play it's weird because sorry, like the the piano has like a transpose function so that you could you can play in different keys without having to like um adjust it yourself yeah and it was it was all on zero like there was nothing on the, the keyboard that was like altering the tuning altering the, off the all the like and if anyone knows like i think it was a nord stage grand yeah was that, and a, like, that or a, a electro two or something i can't remember no it was a yeah key there, wasn't it? <laughs> and they, they have like little synth functions and that could like mess that up, but it was all turned off. We, I'm pretty sure we reset it back to factory settings. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just used the start grand piano sound, and it still didn't work. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying to Justin, man, we've got, to, we've got to go. We've just got to go with something. We either cut the song or do something else. You know, rah rah, whatever. And Justin's like, you know, Justin's not happy. He's like, look, it's their fucking fault with the piano. And I'm like, yeah, I know it's their fault, but they haven't got another piano we can grab. Mm. And then Miles just turns around and just goes, fuck it. Let's just not play. Let's just not do the song with track. Let's just do it acoustic with just you and a piano. And we can do the other song where there's no piano and there's just loads of track. It, it, yeah, it was so easy because the, we did three tracks. The first track, there was no piano in it. It was just Justin playing some guitar. Second track was all piano, but we just said, just just do a um, piano only version, no track. Mm-hmm. And then the last song, he the first up to the first chorus is just piano and then he gets off when the track comes in yeah so so, so it just worked and all of a sudden we were just went from being like fucking hell this is like because we kind of walked yeah. into that gig going this is bullshit like mm-hmm. not that it's bullshit yeah. but this is easy whatever we're just gonna turn up do this do the, do the show yeah. yeah turn around back in the hotel then we had to flood because then we were flying to zurich as well that we we, we flew into berlin and then we were flying straight out to zurich for the last show of the tour so it was like literally show was only going to take a couple of hours and then we need to go to Zurich and get it, get there for the show the next day. And then all of this carnage is kicking off and we're just thinking, <laughs> oh. I remember the stage manager or the stage crew or someone was just so, so aggressive and just mm. chucking the, the general, like the British, like you're right there, mate. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, mate. Yeah. All right. Well, you fucking do your job. <laughs> you fucking do your job. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I remember at one point they didn't let me on the front of house. <laughs> I'm showing them my, I think they give us wristbands. I'm like, let me through. Like, <laughs> and they're like, no, I need to start the show. <laughs> and they're like, like, no, so mate. I made, like, what, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> this, is, this is like staff only. There's nothing like being a bit sweaty running around an airport. It's probably the most uncomfortable feeling ever. I, I can't wait to feel that again. I've just thought of a fucking real good, a real belter of a story where, so me and Miles are both based in Brighton. A lot of the flying that we do is either from Heathrow or Gatwick. And obviously Gatwick's a dream because it's 25 minutes on the motorway. It's so quick, like a mile yeah. around the corner from me. So like, it's nice. Regardless, if, if, if we have to get to the airport for five in the morning, it's still a nice kind so of... So easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So me, obviously me and Miles in the morning are probably not the worst people in the world, but we're not we're probably just the weirdest people in the world because we're half really yeah. tired and we're also like fucking around because it's funny. And there was one time that before Miles, you were on board with Justin, he had um, a other backliner and he was a US backliner. Mm. And we were doing the first shows I've ever done with Justin. So we flew from Amsterdam to um, somewhere in Scandinavia. I can't remember where it was now. Um, oh, where was it? I think it was Oslo, right? Yeah, I think I was going to say it's Norway. Yes, it yeah. was. It was Oslo, and we're going through some of the metal detectors. And I see the backliner was like, "Oh, um, the I don't want to go through that. Can you just can you just do a, a pat down instead? I prefer not to go through the um, metal detectors mm-hmm. because the metal detectors were the big um, ones that circulate around you. You Spinny have to ones. put your arms up and stuff. I can't think what mm-hmm. they're called. Um, and I'm like, oh, great. Like, that's great. Like, I know it sounds really dumb, but like you get loads of radiation from the plane, loads of radiation from Wi-Fi, you know, everything. It would be cool if you could just minus that radiation footprint. I get, not footprint, <laughs> but kind of like consumption, I guess. You're, you're I like, yearly intake. Yeah. And the Norwegian guy that um, the other the other backliner said was like, yeah, man, no worries. Like, just give me a shit. I'll put it through here and I'll just pat you down. It's all good, man. You just go through the store. So one morning I'm saying to Miles, I'm like, mate, oh, yeah. Will, Will, 
Will was like, yeah, just mate, just can you pat me down instead? Like, and the guy was cool for it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if we can do it in Gatwick because like, that'd be sick. It'd be, you know, it'd be perfect. You know, I'm opt worried out. about these. Yeah, I want to opt out basically. I'll be <laughs> like, I'm up for it. So Miles has gone. <laughs> Have you gone through before me? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm waiting a long time for you to. And you're not really allowed me. to wait, are you? Like they tell you that. No, you're no. It's like it's, it's like go. Yeah. So it's typical, typical, <laughs> typical like, <laughs> typical like show. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like, where like you know you go through security, we scan through, we drop bags, we've done all the kind of mm. like. If I'm honest, dropping bags is the most stressful thing because you want to get the bags on, make sure, okay, please be on the flipping plane. Okay, they're done, right? Let's go scan the board and pass. Let's go do security. Let's chill, have a bite to eat, get on the plane and whatever. And I'm like, right, I'm ready to opt out. So I, get, <laughs> so I, so I bang it through, through the x-ray and I get to the thing and I'm like, hey, you're right. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering if it's okay if I opt out and if you can do some sort of other check instead. And she just, and this woman just turns around. <laughs> she just looks at me and she's just like, you what? You what? Yeah, like, are you serious? And I'm like, and I'm so polite, like even more so. I'm telling the story probably exactly how I remember it. And I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, sorry, I'm being quite serious. Like, um, I just heard that there's a lot of radiation from those machines. And I, I'm just wondering if there's an easier way that I could just opt out, basically. Mm. And she keeps being like, Are you are you are you serious? Are you are you actually are you absolutely sure? And she's getting really frustrated. So yeah, quickly. I remember watching it. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, I'm really. But at this point, I can't turn back now. I've got to stick no, to my you've guns. Got, you've got to go through it. I've got to stick Don't to the guns, down. and I'm like, and I'm like, no, I'd like to opt out if that's all right. And she's like, are you joking? Because if you do, like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Yeah, that is absolutely fine. But I'm gonna have to go and get a manager. They're gonna have to take him into a room. They're gonna have to like basically do a strip search. And I'm like, mm. I'm just asking to opt out of the machine. Is there another way that you can scan me? Mm -hmm. or through like a metal detector or something like that and then she's like you know how fucking hard it is to work here pregnant when people like you come here and tell me that i want to opt out of the machine it doesn't even give you that much radiation you know it doesn't even give you that much radiation you get more radiation on the fucking airplane she's probably not even swearing i'm probably just making that up but yeah. i'm like whoa i'm like i am so sorry i did not mean to insult your livelihood or anything to do with you i didn't realize you were pregnant um i'm sorry but i'm just i just literally wondered and she's like no you've said it now you've said it because like, then at that point i'm like totally fine I get that you're upset. Yeah, cool. I'd just rather go through security. Like it's six in the morning. And she's like, no, you've said it now. You have to stand there. And I had to stand there. And obviously everyone's turning around looking at me being like, well, what's going on? This woman's like mm -hmm. proper like cling clang, like proper like stomping off with like with whatever shoot footwear she was wearing. Mm. And then the supervisor comes over and she's like, hello, how are you doing there? How are you doing? You My name's Claire. And uh, and uh, and sorry, what's your name, sir? Hi, my name's Lewis. Yeah, I was just wondering. Oh, no, Lewis, totally fine. I totally get it. I totally get. It. I would just like to educate you a little bit. Um, these machines, they're not the same ones as the ones in America. Um, they mm. are the same brand and they look the same, but they actually give out like. And she starts giving me all these measurements about radiation yeah. and how much they are way safer than the ones in America. And my brain finally clicks. Will the old the other US backliner? Is obviously yeah. flying loads in America, sees those machines and goes, fuck that, thank you. I want to opt out. So whenever he yeah. sees those machines, he goes, fuck that, I'm going to opt out. And I've gone, oh, that's a good idea. I'd like to opt out as well. And then I ask it, oh, sort of fucking World War Three is going on in the Gatwick security. Oh, no, um, yeah. And this management is like, supervisor is so polite about the whole thing. And she basically mm -hmm. is like, I'm sorry about my colleague, but she's, this is a very sensitive subject to her. This happens quite regularly. And you have to understand that like, these, what, these aren't that harmful. Everyone, she's like, you know, you get, um, no, no, no. The woman who was really pissed off at me was like, "You get radiation from your fucking toaster or something." Like, and yeah. I'm like, "What? Like, I ain't talking about making toast right now. I'm talking about can I just? Is there any other way to go around? I don't want to go in the spinning yeah. machine. It freaks me out." Um, and then the woman was super nice about it and was like, "If you want, we can do it. It's going to take half an hour for you to get strips, like not strip search, but search mm. manually." Yeah. And at that point, I'm just like, "Totally fine. Totally fine. Let me go through." And Miles, the yeah. whole time, is just stood there. So they were watching. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Like thinking because I, I could just see like all your mouths moving <laughs> and I was trying to like make up the conversation and then and then you come waddling over and like what oh, was the body language like, like? It, it it changed dramatically from when the first <laughs> woman was speaking to you well because then she yeah. went off somewhere else I could because I was going to go over and be like I am so sorry but also yeah. you have to understand this is not stuff that I know mm -hmm. about and I fly all the time like yeah if I want to, if I want to, you know, but she, I remember she was like, you get more, you know, you get more radiation on the airplane, rah, rah, and I was just like, mm. okay. But in my head, I'm like, if you wanted to reduce it, then surely that's fine. You shouldn't ever have a go at someone for doing it. But she felt like yeah. it was a personal insult to her. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, was so, oh, yeah. I felt so bad. All, but also all she time, had to do, 
was just educate you like the second lady did. Yeah, 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 yeah. If she did. It would have been so easy. Because if she was like, oh, trust me, like, how come you want to do it? Because when she first asked me, she was like, why do you want to do it? And I was just like, um, do you ever ask someone why they want to come through security? I think it's pretty, yeah. that, I think it's pr- like, you never ask someone at the store when you bought some milk, why do you want to buy that milk, mate? Why do you want to buy that milk? <laughs> do you know what I mean? You never t- question people when they're purchasing something or they're doing something, unless it's obviously mm. something that's like really bad, but I don't think what I was doing was bad. And no. Oh yeah. Oh God, that was terrible. I, I think so we had bad. this like, and then every other flight, I think we made a joke about opting out. <laughs> <laughs> opt out. I lose, oh, mate. Are you going to opt out of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to bring it back. Yeah, I'm going to bring that back like a, like Backstreet Boys. <laughs> it's one time that we've like, we first set off on our tour with Justin. It's me, Miles and Stian. Justin's flying to Munich and we're driving from like West, Ber- West Berlin, West um, Germany to Southeast Germany to Munich. I can't remember where we were in West Germany. Mm-hmm. But it was a good like, what was it, six, seven hour flight? Or something, like, six, seven hour drive maybe? Or maybe less than that, like five? Yeah. yeah. And we picked up this van that's been dropped off. And me and Miles have had a shocker of a day. We were doing like a TV show. We forgot to get yeah. something out of the bus. Yeah. And we were cross-loading from a bus to a van. And it was like, mm-hmm. just let's, in my head, I was like, we just need to get in this van. And we can just drive to Munich. And we can just, everything will be way better because it's a smaller mm-hmm. setup. And everything's just way yeah. more self-contained. Yeah. And um, it's me, Stian and Miles. We've only met Stian for a couple of days, so he doesn't really know us that well. Me yeah. and Miles are very overtired. We spent two days on a on a touring bus, and I haven't slept on either day because um, I couldn't sleep at all. Um, you know, there's a whole story to do with the two days before there, which probably should go into it another time. We should, yeah. The, those um, rehearsals. Oh God. Are oh, the rehearsals? That's the next episode. Next episode is going yeah. to be the two, two full band shows of Justin Jesso because actually those rehearsals. Oh my god, yeah, the rehearsals. Okay, stay tuned for episode two with Minute yeah, yeah, Miles. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, to jump to the end of those two days, we've jumped in this van. We've cross loaded. It's hot as well. It's quite hot actually. And um, we jump in this van, and actually, you forget that when you're trying to get out of a live TV set that is full of live people like living people smiled. so many people there yeah. you can't get out because everyone's trying to get out at the same time you are and then they notice the van they're like oh what's going on there and little do they know mm. justin's flying off and we get to the motorway and i pulled off onto the moat pulled from the the slip road to the motorway and i've just just basically jumped out into the left lane there's no one coming traffic but i'm driving a left hand drive long wheelbase van yeah, that yeah. feels a lot larger than normal miles is sat to the right where normally you would sit in your car and drive so you're feeling drive, weird yeah. and I yeah, i'm like through. where's the wheel <laughs> i bought through steen's never really met us properly and he stood up like watching like us drive and you <laughs> and i bolt through and i'm like fucking come on because i'm pissed off i'm like six hour drive yeah. it's already like three o'clock mm-hmm. in the afternoon like oh man like it's a long drive we've got showing up tomorrow ah. and i bolt through and there's no oncoming traffic so i know i'm safe in the left lane but there's a there's queuing traffic to the right and i bolt through and like and also i look over and i'm like oh god it's really weird driving on the left side i can't quite gauge my size on the right and yeah. you just look at me and just go you're fucking millimeters from that van <laughs> <laughs> yeah so close I'm like that's close right so you just look at me and just go you're fucking really close to that van by the way and then Steve just goes are you a good driver <laughs> just us through for the next five hours and I'm just like yeah. I'm a good I'm a fucking good driver don't tell me I'm a good driver and then we go up the road for like maybe not even a mile and I fucking miss the exit I don't think you remember that I missed the exit I think and, so yeah, and that yeah. we then oh my god and I remember just thinking I'm, profesh- I'm a professional, damn it. I'm a professional, but I was millimetres from swiping this van just as I got the van as well. And if I swiped mm-hmm. it, imagine then me, Miles, two British guys, Stian, yeah. Norwegian as hell, like doesn't know any German and mm-hmm. it wouldn't, probably wouldn't be able to keep up in an, an English argument. Imagine then three German people jumping out of a van being like, you've swiped my van. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. But same you day. it, though same day we got a vegan big mac from mcdonald's so it kind of made up for it oh yeah but the reason i thought of that was because i was like miles you're gonna have to be my co-pilot because it's really strange mm. rah, rah, rah. and then <laughs> an hour in i might like, talking to you i just look over and miles is just like mouth wide open like dribbling <laughs> <laughs> like snoring steen's in the back editing so i can't really talk to him he's like yeah. working and i just look over and I just think fuck me <laughs> 
the, the problem with me, like, I can sleep anywhere. Like, I, I think I think we've been on the tube together and I've fallen asleep. <laughs> do, do you, right, sorry. Do you remember the time your bottle fell down the aisle? <laughs> I'm not so, joking, right. yeah. So, we're, I, I don't know what show this is. Like, wh- where are we going? I feel I think like this is New Year's Eve. I feel like this was after New Year's Eve. I feel like it was oh, no, it, it was Eve. um it was uh, Swiss music. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> we me me and Lewis are sat quite close to the front of the plane. And um like when when the plane takes off, they was they go pretty steep, don't they? Hey, they just cane it. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. they're just straight up like yeah, yeah. we're we're like SpaceX Vertical. rocket ship. Yeah. <laughs> right. Easy jet straight up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Lewis, Lewis drops his bottle. Well, no, 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 no. This is what happened, yeah? Right. So, <laughs> obviously, we're like, you've got the, like, you normally get the, the foot space in front of you, which is where I bang all my bags and stuff. But basically, I just don't know what I'd done, but I just didn't really have all the bags with me, and there was no netted pocket in front of me to be able to do anything. So I've got my Switch, or, like, me and you were playing Mario Kart or something. Oh, yeah. no, that, ha- that happened yeah. after, maybe. Or maybe yeah, we were probably. playing Mario Kart, I can't remember. Because we've been told off loads of times, but we're playing Mario Kart, and they're like, yeah, can you put the switch down? Because mm. we're going to land. And me and Miles are just like, nope. <laughs> and they're balancing the switch on my, like, thigh as we're, like, trying to beat each other. But basically, I've put, I've forgotten that I've stood my bottle up, but underneath the seat in front mm. of me. So I completely forget. And as it as the, that, that pull hits you, as the, uh, the plane accelerates... I look down and all of a sudden this bottle just fucking flies back. And I'm not joking, yeah. When you're already you look back <laughs> and it's shooting down the aisle. <laughs> well, everyone's already nervous because t- planes taken off is a nervous feeling. And they just hear this like bang, bang, like like clang, <laughs> clang, 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 like going down the fucking aeroplane. Everyone just shat their fucking pants yeah. and me included. And then the, they just passed the it. Best bit. <laughs> Passed it up the aisle. It's like, you know, it's like faith in humanity restored. Like, oh my God. And I'm you just see, like, you, sorry. It's like, it's like a BuzzFeed article. Like, you know, they all pull together to <laughs> return the guy's bottle. Yeah. Miles, before you go, is there anything uh, you think people should uh, consume? I don't know what I mean. This, so th- this is kind of like, could be anything. Could be like, oh, I've just saw this food and it's great. Everyone should try it. Or I just watched this like YouTube video, or I saw this Instagram post, or this tweet, or this Reddit mm. Reddit feed. Is there anything that's going on that you think people should get to know? Do you know what? I, I think I think a lot of people have seen it already, but I just got into The Crown on Netflix. Oh yeah. I don't know how old it is. I, I don't think it's been going on for a while, but they, but they've obviously right. done a new season. Mm-hmm. That's what sparked it because it's Diana. And I, I don't know a lot about the royal family, but it's quite an easy series to follow, with um, a really good cast as well. Yeah, because um, one of the cast had to come out and say it's, uh, you know, it's part of fiction, right? Because oh, a lot okay. of people were thinking yeah. it was like down to the T true, and people were like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but enjoying that, um, yeah, that's what I would. A good lockdown recommendation. Absolutely, absolutely. I think I'm gonna. My thing is gonna be Reddit. I've never really got into Reddit before, but I just yeah. I hooked up loads of threads of like Nintendo Switch and like travel in Japan and just loads of random things. Mm. And now every time I go on there, I'm like, oh, this is great. This is way better because it's almost like fake. It's like f- not. It's not like news. It's like just random stuff. It's great. Never really got into Reddit before. So same actually. I'm going to say Reddit. Reddit is my thing that people need to check out. But yeah, Reddit. cool. Thank you very much, Miles Sargent. Um, where Thank can you. people find you online if they want to look into your uh, your adventures any further? You can probably find me on Instagram on miles.sargent. Fantastic. You can find me at Lewis Left if you're bothered. Thank you ever so much for listening. Like and subscribe, share, do all of those things that everyone's asking you to do and I'm asking you to do it as well. Guess what? consumerism or <laughs> capitalism i don't know fight the yeah. algorithm the algorithm <laughs> but yeah <laughs> all right cool thank you very much for listening i will hopefully see you soon miles sergeant and speak to everyone else soon as well if that's what is going on long drives late nights and lobby calls this podcast has it